what's promising now is that there is a there, there's a there's a menu of technologies and products like the YDA that now allow our patients to have a choice. And these are things that not only the patient would want to wear, but the doctor and the nurse would want to wear, uh, and the whole medical family. So these things cease to become a medical device, and they start to become something uh, that we'd all want in our home, in our wardrobe. What's terrific about this uh, technology is that it looks great. And that <laughs> sounds simple, but to look great like this um, and yet to function uh, like a therapeutic technology is not easy. Uh, just look at almost everything else. Uh, and, and I think what you see here is you have sufficient room uh, in the toe box and the vamp. Uh, you have uh, a superb uh, technology in the sole, uh, and the thing fits and there's comfort. That is a, um, that's so helpful because these are things that someone will want to wear. Well, you know, I think this has a social, it sounds ridiculous to say that a shoe can have a social mission, but it's not ridiculous because many of our patients now are, it, it, who could get out and do their thing. Whatever their thing is, are not, because they're at high risk. They're high risk for getting a wound or they're at high risk for getting a repeat wound in remission. What technology like this can do is liberate people to not only to get around their house, if that's their thing, but maybe to get around the shops, uh, maybe to get around the street, maybe to get to see their kids, or their grandkids, or maybe even their great-grandkids, uh, but all the way through. And this is the big idea, helping people move through the world a little bit better.